Hey everybody, in this video, we're going to be learning about how to use average rate of change to estimate instantaneous rate of change. But what is instantaneous rate of change? The instantaneous rate of change is the rate of change at a single point on a function. It's also known as the slope of the tangent line that touches the point. But what is a tangent line? Let's make sure you understand this concept. A tangent line is a line that locally touches a curve at a single point. Recall the big question from the last video. How do you find the rate of change at a single point on a function? The only tool we have right now is the average rate of change equation. And if we apply that, we get f of four minus f of four over four minus four, which is zero over zero. And that's an indeterminate form in calculus, which means we have more work to do. By the way, some common indeterminate forms in calculus include zero over zero and infinity over infinity. We'll address these in more detail in a future video. Going forward in this video and perhaps future videos, I'll be using some abbreviations. I'm going to be using AROC for average rate of change and IROC for instantaneous rate of change. Suppose we want to estimate the IROC at x equals four on the function y equals radical x. Again, if we apply the average rate of change formula, we're going to get an indeterminate form. So here's our general strategy. In order to estimate the instantaneous rate of change at a point AB, we're going to pick another point close to AB and find the average rate of change between the points. Going back to our function y equals radical x, we're gonna pick a point extremely close to x equals four. Here I've chosen 4.01 and note that's on the right side of x equals four. Also note that we're extremely zoomed in, so it almost appears that the function is a straight line. Applying the average rate of change formula, we get f of 4.01 minus f of four over 4.01 minus four. And using a calculator, that gives us 0 0.2498. This is an AROC from the right side. But we can also pick a point on the left and get the AROC from the left side. Here I've chosen the point 3.99, Applying the average rate of change formula, we get f of 3.99 minus f of four over 3.99 minus four. That reduces to 0 0.2501. An often better approach than the left AROC or the right AROC is the symmetric AROC. This is where we pick points on either side of our point in question. So here I've chosen 4.01 and 3.99. Then I'm gonna find the average rate of change. That would give us f of 4.01 minus f of 3.99 over 4.01 minus 3.99. That's gonna to reduce to 0 0.250. In order to get better approximations of the instantaneous rate of change, we can make our intervals smaller. Here I have two symmetric AROC calculations. The second one has a much smaller interval. And here we have two right AROC calculations. The second one also has a much smaller interval. And finally, we have two left AROC calculations, the second one with a much smaller interval. Now, from the list of AROC data, can you make an estimate for what the instantaneous rate of change is at x equals four? From the data, we can reasonably estimate that the IROC at x equals four is 0 0.250. But here's a question to ponder. In this video, we estimated the instantaneous rate of change using average rate of change. But how do you think you'd find the exact value of the instantaneous rate of change at a point? We'll be addressing that in a future video. For now, let's review. In order to estimate the instantaneous rate of change at a point AB, you need to pick another point close to AB and find the average rate of change. And there were three ways that we can do this. We can apply a left AROC, a right AROC, and a symmetric AROC. And that's how you rock calculus.